Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Quickies. Did you guys know that BeamNG Drive is basically burnout paradise now? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. I actually missed uh, this little feature in my 0.32 update video, but I've been messing around with it and it's actually pretty cool. And I wanted to show you guys how it works today. So we're going to start out on grid map because I want a very controlled environment for this. So if we go over into the camera settings here, you'll now see a little option called cinematic crashes in free roam mode. We're going to go ahead and click that. So when you're about to crash or about to crash, by my understanding, you'll get a very burnout esque cinematic, which sounds pretty awesome. So we're going to test it out today. So first things first, let's just drive straight into that half pipe up there and see if that triggers uh, the crash cam here. We should get up to a pretty good speed because we're driving the new GTZ Turbo, uh, the new 200 BX, sorry, the new BX. If you guys haven't seen my update video, definitely give that a look. It's pretty good, I think. Anyway, here we go. It did trigger it. Yes. Camera can't keep up with it. <laughs> Why did we not even make it up to the half pipe? Did we hit something up there? Oh, it's writing parts now. Okay, that was weird. So it did work. All right, so now I want to see what happens if it, if it knows that we're about to run into a wall at 100 miles an hour. So we'll just choose one of these pillars right here. They look good enough. It does know. <laughs> see, that is very, very, very burnout ask. I can't, I mean, I can only imagine that's what they're uh, kind of modeling this crash cam off, right? So yeah, the way I'm going to structure this video is once we're done messing around here on the grid map, we'll go to West Coast USA or somewhere where we can spawn a lot of traffic, uh, try it with traffic. And then at the end, I want to see if it'll work on the car jump arena. I mean, of course, right? All right, next test. If we hit one of these little jumps, is that going to uh, trigger the camera? No, not yet. Maybe not. Maybe it kind of... Well, we still broke the car, though. So you'd think that it would trigger it, but maybe not. Let's try again. Oh, yes. What a cozy interior. Does it work if we're in first person, by the way? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So it does work. I think it might have something to do if the car is going to... Um, uh, flip over or not. Maybe maybe that's what kind of... Well, no, because it knew that I was about to hit the wall earlier. Like, it, it started the camera, the slow motion, uh, before we actually hit the wall. All right, let's hit one of these, like, little snake things over here. We should be... Yeah, 80 miles an hour. Ow! So let's see if... It, we're going to go into a roll here. Yeah, so once it knows that we're about to flip the car over <laughs> is when it starts... Uh, starts the wreck although it did kind of cut uh the camera short we were still tumbling through the air when we went back to the normal camera i'm sure this could be tuned a little bit as far as i know this is kind of like an early access feature uh that they're probably still going to be working on just like the uh, the speed camera stuff as far as i know all right i want to try one more thing while we're here on grid map i want to send myself into a roll on the drag strip and see what happens there i mean i have a pretty good feeling of what's gonna happen here but i still want to do it anyway okay all right here we go beautiful launch not a beautiful run <laughs> okay it's holding it this time well it held it a little longer there that, that was sick looking oh man i am so this is such a cool feature <laughs> I mean, it's not something I it's probably not something I would have turned on all the time, but I still think it's pretty cool. Look at that. That's just it's straight up burnout, man. Oh, my goodness. We are tumbling. Jesus, how many G forces did we just pull? My God. So, yes, with our scientific research, we have proven that it works with one person. But let's try it with some traffic. Let's go over to West Coast USA and have some fun. We unlocked a race car in our burnout playthrough, so we're gonna have some fun. I feel like we we gotta do this on the highway, right? So let's spawn up some traffic here. This poor, poor traffic is about to be <laughs> about to be in for the time of their lives, I tell you that much. So let's get up to speed here. I know this thing's quick, so let's get up to speed. 
and have some fun. Does it know I'm about to hit somebody? Whoop. All right, Mr. Green Car, looks like you're going to be lucky number one. Beautiful. <laughs> that is so cool, dude. Oh, that's just so burnout, man. It makes me so sad because I know EA is probably not going to break burnout back. They seem to like Need for Speed better, but man, this keeps the spirit alive, doesn't it? Let's try. Let's sideswipe somebody this time and see what happens there. Mr. Covet. Oh, <laughs> we really did just kind of sideswipe. Him. Oh, Jesus. Into a roll we go. See, I wish the, the camera was still going when we're tumbling through the air. We could if it would like trigger it again while we're just absolutely eating shit down the highway. <laughs> okay, let's do a, a little uh, head on collision. Drive the wrong way on the highway. What an absolute madman. Please, somebody take me out. Let's see who it's going to be. We are absolutely cruising right now. 130 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness gracious. Yikes. I just had an idea, though. If I remember correctly, one of these buildings up here, you can actually jump off. Which one is it, though? I get, you know, I guess I could can I fit my car right here. Hold on. How, how, how wide is this? Oh, OK, not that one. What happens when I hit the ground, though? Oh, I hit the pole. Oh, no. <laughs> it still worked, though. But, you know, hey, while we're here, let's try going downhill at a high rate of speed. Is it going to is it going to turn on if I'm just like on a jump and kind of hitting the ground hard? Or is it only when I like it knows that I'm going to crash? Let's try here. We can get some air here. Especially under that bridge. Let's not run into the truck. Here we go. This is going to be a big jump. Ooh. Okay, it didn't trigger, but I'm crashing. Oh, God. So, yeah, it's, it's fairly intelligent, really. It knows when I am about to bite the big one. That's for sure. But I have another idea. What if I am technically crashing, but I am the one doing the crashing and it's not affecting me? I think you guys know what I might be talking about here. It's the T-Series Ram Plow, of course. Are we still gonna get a pretty sick crash cam, even though uh, we're not really crashing, we're doing the crashing here. So we need to find some poor soul. How about you? How about you two? It does know. <laughs> That's awesome. Here we go. There's a twofer right there. Let's go the wrong way here and see who we can find. We'll get some first person in here as well. I want to see I want to see them flying over my windshield. Come here. Come here, you pass about. Yes. Go ahead and lift you up, buddy. I can't see where I'm driving now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Curbs are not good for this thing. You know, I'm surprised that didn't trigger the uh, the crash game there. I, I, I curbed it pretty bad, man. But nothing happened. OK, well, you know, that works anyway. Let's get back to into a somewhat regular car here. The Sunburst, my beloved. We, the, you know, the Sunburst did get some content. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was not a thing in the last version. At least not this version. No, let's try it out. This drift uh, version of the Sunburst. Please, Bima G Dabs, could this be the next updated, next rebastard car? I would love you so much, and I'm crashing already. Oh. <laughs> That's so satisfying, though, man. The Bima G Dabs are just adding random stuff now, but, uh, you know, I'm here for it, man. Oh, we got picked up 58 to 30. That's not too bad. <laughs> I mean, that is bad, but you know, that's not that's not too bad. You know, seeing this little thing right there, this little uh, kind of ramp thing gives me an idea. There's one, one of these somewhere where we could absolutely send it. There we go. This one right there. If we hit that at a high rate of speed. We either hit our head on the bridge or are sent into a tumble. Uh, so let's try that. I guess this is a. Uh, doesn't have really traffic included in it, but I still want to see what'll happen. And boom! No camera! I mean, we did land it, but uh, I was expecting something more. Maybe we need to be going a little bit faster so it 
really knows that we are crashing. So let's try. Uh, we'll go back to the drag BX. That should get us enough speed. More than enough speed. Oh, there we go. Took a minute, but we did get that crash camera. I mean, it doesn't really know where to, to send it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, if, you, if you're crashing for more than about two seconds, it does kind of give out. I maybe would like to see Beam and G devs if you're watching uh, and you're looking for input. I would like to see like a little maybe a little slider so we can tell it how long we want the crash cam to go. Uh, because I, you know, I really, really like this feature and I, you know, sometimes when I'm, I, when I crash in this game, it lasts a while. I'll, I'll be tumbling for four or five, 10 seconds. And I want that cinematic cam the whole time, man. So yeah, maybe like a little slider for that could, uh, could be a good solution. So if you don't want a lot of it, you can have not a lot of it. But if you're like me and you like to see it play out, you can maybe crank it up a little bit. That's just, that's just me though. All right, so the big question, will this work on the car jump arena? I mean, I'm assuming it will probably when we hit the ground. Uh, but, you know, let's try it anyway with this thing. This is I'm pretty sure this car still is the, the farthest jump we've ever had on the car jump arena. And it's a stock car in the game. So let's bring it back, shall we? All righty, moment of truth. Whoa, too much. We're fine. 200. Jesus, 240 miles an hour. Beautiful launch as always. Seriously, we go like into the sand on this thing. This thing just absolutely flies for some reason. Oh, <laughs> the crash cam didn't really know what to do with that one. Oh my God. Yikes, let's try one more time. I'm going to send myself a little bit to the right here because I want to land in the sand and it kind of pulls you to the left. Oh, it really pulls you to the left. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, it kind of landed that one up. They kind of lined that one up. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, this has been the new uh, kind of crash cam. Burnout cam is what I'm going to call it from now on. Uh, this is awesome. Again, just one of those little features that kind of just throw in there. And uh, you wouldn't really notice unless you were looking for it because this thing was turned off by default. That's why I missed it in my initial uh, 0.32 update video. But yeah, it's there right underneath the camera settings right at the top. You can't miss it. Turn it on. Mess around with it. It's pretty cool, man. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to that like button down below and stay tuned for more 0.32 content. I got a lot of stuff coming. You don't want to miss it. And you know what, guys? I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.